Whenever you get a system of inequalities, you're going to want to graph each individual inequality one by one. So we're just going to start with the first inequality. To do that, we need to switch it to an equation and graph the line. So that's going to be y equals 4, a horizontal line. Since it's strictly greater than, that means it's going to be a dashed line. And since it's an inequality, we need to shade a region. To figure out whether we shade above the line or below the line, we need to use a test point. And the test point we're going to use is just going to be 0, 0. And we plug it in, we get 0 greater than 4, which is false. So we're going to shade above the line. Because 0, 0 is contained below the line, so we're going to shade above the line since it was false. Now moving on to the second inequality. Again, switch it to an equation and graph the line. To do that, we need two points, and two easy points to find is the x and y intercept. So, when we go through that process, we're going to get the two points, 5 comma 0 and 0 comma 5. Now with the two points, we can graph the line. Notice that this one isn't strictly less than. This one is less than or equal to. Notice that? So that means that it's going to be a solid line. Now we need to shade a region either above the line or below the line. To figure that out, we're going to use a test point. Again, often a very con convenient point to use is just 0, 0. And we plug that in. What do we get? We get 0 less than or equal to 5, which is true. 0 is less than 5. So we're going to shade the region that has 0, 0 in it, which is below the line. And now that both inequalities have been graphed, we can find the solution region where the two, two regions overlap in that purple area. And that's it.